This is an extract from A Useful Guide to Hypnosis, published by Pansophics. Timeline session. In this session, I'm going to take, take you, as I would one of my clients, through a very simple timeline session. But what I'm going to do um, at the beginning is do a very, 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 very mild induction just to help them access maybe a slightly more creative state, more positive state, more open state than they would be normally so that they can get very best value for the exercise. You can actually do the exercise straight off without the mild hypnotic part in the future, in the, in the beginning, but um, you may get better results if you use it. Um, I would suggest you play along with the exercise yourself, um, pretending that you're a client, and you may genuinely find it exceptionally useful. To get best value for it, you really need to think about um, something, a goal that you want in the future, something that is really, really big, bold, hairy, audacious, motivating, great, something you really, really like in the future. And ideally, because we're doing the exercise visually rather than kinesthetically, something that you can break down in, say, three milestones. So what I'll ask you to do in preparation for this is to think of something big, bold, hairy, exciting that you want to achieve. Um, and although it may be, it, there, there is absolutely nothing wrong um, by going as you want to get the deposit for the house or you want to do what you need to do to create that environment for your kids to be both disciplined and creative. Or So I'm very happy if you go for real practical stuff, but also sometimes with this stuff, this, these techniques, it's good for, to go for really big, bold things, you know, like when you're going to make your second million or when you're going to be really excited with what you're doing, with whatever you're doing in life. So your choice, go for something practical and small or practical and big or go for something really big. So it really becomes a magnet that draws you into that exciting future. So. You can either sit or lie down. Um, I'm assuming for what I'm saying that you're sitting, but as I say, you can sit or lie down. So get yourself really comfortable in that chair. Stretch, maybe raise your shoulders to your head and let them go. Maybe take a really deep breath. Let the, uh, let the air out. Just move so you're in that really, you're in that really relaxed position where you could go into a deep trance. Although curiously enough, I don't want you to go into a deep trance of this. Just a very gentle, mild state of relaxation is all you need to get more benefit out of doing the exercise. However, I'm going to do a couple of minute induction just to get you into that very, very mild, different state. So you're slightly more relaxed. You're slightly more creative. You're slightly more open in order that you can get those benefits for yourself out of doing the exercise. So focus on, choose either your left leg or your right leg. No, left foot or right foot. Choose either your right foot or left foot. And just have a feel, which foot is warmer or cooler than the other one? Is your left foot slightly warmer than your right foot? Is your right foot slightly warmer than your left foot? Because normally one of the feet is slightly warmer than the other. Choose whichever foot that you've decided and focus on it. Feel the sensations in that foot. And as you feel the sensations in that foot, just let your body relax. That's right. Just let your body relax. Starting with the foot, let those feelings of relaxation just rise up the body from your, your knees, thighs, stomach, neck, eyes, tip of the head. Now just imagine you're looking at somebody you really like, okay? And just as you imagine them and picture them in any shape or form, however good or to be developed your imagination, is just remind yourself of somebody you really like. Just feel really good because you have that connection with them. Now, I want you to be aware that I am speaking and that at some level you are listening to me. And again, 
you will notice that from time to time I pause. And this time in your own way, just use that pause to let yourself relax. And again, just be aware of those sensations of relaxation in the body. And actually be aware that as you become relaxed, you can also become more aware. So rather than sometimes when you go to sleep, you become less aware and you cut yourself off from some of your sensations and awareness. This time I want you to relax and actually become more consciously aware of those things that you're going to focus on. And I want you to just consider this thing that you really want, this thing in the future that you're that you're aiming to. And maybe while you're sitting in the chair, just be aware of what it'd be like, just when you've actually achieved it. You know, just be aware of what you will see, that's what comes through your eyes, sort of colours and moving images and all that sort of thing, what you might hear, how you might feel when you've really achieved that thing that you want. Now, I want you to imagine in any way this makes sense that you actually rise up above your chair and you get drawn to having achieved the first milestone. And when you've achieved the first milestone, just be aware of any learnings that you've had in achieving that first milestone. And just move past that first milestone. So not only have you achieved the milestone, but you have, you feel good about it. Some way that you feel that you've achieved something. Now, from having achieved the first milestone, I want you to turn around and almost come back to the present. But as you come back to the present, learn all those things that you can learn that will help you get to that first milestone quicker and easier next time. And as you come back to the present, again, look at your future. And this time, I want you to go forward through that first milestone and find yourself being drawn to the second milestone. And be aware of the simple things that you need to do to make sure you achieve that second milestone easily. And as you come to that second milestone, there again, drift past it. So not only you have achieved it, but you have achieved it really well. Just be aware of what it's like having achieved that second milestone really well. Again, be drawn back to the present, but in a way that you can retrace the steps from your second milestone to your first milestone, from your first milestone to the present, taking in any learnings that you may do. This time I want you to go forward again, going to the first milestone, maybe doing it quicker this time because of all the learnings that you've had, being drawn to the second milestone, being aware of what it's like to achieve that, maybe easier this time, until you go to your third milestone, learning on everything that you want to get through for your third milestone. And again, when you've got there, just see how pleasurable it is, having made that third milestone. Then same again, find yourself coming back to the second, but reviewing that path from the third to the second milestone. Then from the second milestone to the first milestone, and the first milestone back to the present. And this time, I want you to go again to the first milestone, take in the learnings, go to the second milestone, maybe taking in additional learnings, making the third milestone, maybe taking additional learnings, until you actually go through to your end goal. And as you reach your end goal, again, be aware of what it's like and actually go further forward. So you actually develop the feelings and learnings. So you actually reach the milestone, reach your end goal in a way that's truly right for you. Take all the time you need in the next few seconds to go forward to that time when not only have you achieved that end goal, but you've achieved it well. And you've achieved it in such a way that you know how to make benefit benefit from it for you and those closest to you. And again, experience what it's like having achieved that goal. And then be drawn back to the present. But again, taking in all the learnings, taking in all the things that were useful to you, meaning that not only in achieving the goal will you have an enjoyable journey, but you will have one that you learn the best, learn the best in a way that helps you and helps all those people around you. 
and then come back to floating above yourself. Rejoin your body, sitting in that chair. Be aware of those sensations in that chair. Now, I just want you to wait a few seconds because whatever experience that you've had in doing this exercise, I want you to find some learnings, maybe very, very small, maybe very, very big, but I want you to take some learning, something that you have learned from this exercise that will be useful for you now in the future. Just spend a few seconds to come up with something that has made this exercise useful to you. And you can do this either consciously or unconsciously. I'm quite happy that the ideas start popping up over the next few hours, days, weeks or months. When you suddenly realise something that is important to you that will help you get to your goal enjoyably and comfortably. And when you made any changes deep inside that really are useful to you, as I count from three to one, I want you to come back to the room to have a really enjoyable and great day. Three, two, one, back to the room. This is NLP trainer and business coach Michael Beale thanking you very much for listening and reminding you that what you have just heard is an extract from A Useful Guide to Hypnosis published by Pansophix. P-A-N-S-O-P-H-I-X. Thank you.